Okay, now I was just going to talk about resistance a little bit. Um, people do get confused with the resistance thing. It's not generally resistance why you want to catch cats, it's resistance change. So change in resistance, whichever you want to call it. Um, personally, again, everybody has their own opinions. I like to fish on a bait runner system. Uh, some of your, your hardy catfish anglers will fish open bay alarm. Not my personal preference, but again, some, some favour that. They'll fish a monkey climber down here, or even the pike. Um, indicators at the back just to hold the line in place on an open bay alarm like so you take your drop off off so you just have it very basic on a very light bobbin down here you get your take and everything goes nice and free the cat can move away and take the line again personal preference don't personally like it. I've had a few problems with line spooling off and going all over the place, especially if it's a bit windy. You know, if the weather turns on you, it can be a bit of a nightmare. So use the bait runner system. <clears throat> the dip, when I say changing resistance, a lot of lads will put the put the bobbin on, and because they've they've heard about the resistance thing, they'll fish a very slack line, like so. Everything slack from the water coming up, slack lines to the nice loose bait runner. What the fish will do, it'll pick up the bait. It won't feel any resistance at this point. It'll take all the slack line that's in the water. As soon as it starts to feel this weight, there's an element of weight there. As soon as it starts to feel that weight, it'll spit it. And I've seen it a few times. You'll see the line going tighter and tighter. The bobbin will start to move and it spits it out. So that's a change in resistance. If everything's right at that end and everything's nice and free running, the last thing you want is an heavy bobbin at this end because it will feel it. So the easiest way of doing it, which I do when I'm catfishing, is fish as if you would if you were carp fishing. <clears throat> so set your bobbin as normal, nice and a light bobbin really at the top there, or even the old monkey climbers again. But fish it on a bait runner, so everything's tight, tight down to that running lead. So when the fish picks the bait up, everything moves, there's nothing's changed at that point. Everything just goes as normal. So the fish isn't picking it up and, and feeling something holding it back. It's just going to pick the bait up and everything's going to go. And that's obviously where you can come in, pick up, wind down to the fish, bit of a strike, you don't strike too hard, just set the hook and there you can play your fish. So what I'm basically getting to is think about resistance but think about the change in resistance because that's why you'll lose your fish as opposed to the actual resistance because if you look at most of the cats that get caught in this country a lot come to carp anglers who are, who are fishing boilies, pellets, tiger nuts, all manner of things. The catfish confidently pick that bait up and they'll run with it. Um, so it can't be the resistance side that's stopping them there because they use a setup like this. So again, you can fish the open bay alarms, you can do it like the old school boys. Open bay alarm, everything nice and loose. Personally, I'd fish it like this, it saves a lot of problems.